Hey everybody, thank you for tuning back into Albatross Barbecue. It's a cracking night for a fire, which means it's a cracking night to get the smoker out. I've been looking forward to doing some chicken in the Pit Boss Barrel Smoker for some time. I'm gonna do some Moroccan chicken. Let's get cooking. So here's our ingredients for today. The main ingredient being Raz El Hunut seasoning mix. This thing is outstanding. Raz El Hunut basically means best on shelf. It's a Moroccan, North African mix of spices and it's absolutely beautiful. So the first thing we're gonna do is grab ourselves some mayonnaise and squeeze about three to four tablespoons in. Then we're gonna put around three tablespoons or teaspoons, depends how much you want it, of minced garlic and then about three tablespoons of olive oil. We're also going to be throwing in a couple of tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of pink Himalayan salt, one tablespoon of black pepper, then we've got one to two tablespoons of oregano, and then we have our Raz El Hunut. We want a couple of tablespoons of that, because as I said, that's gonna be the hero, and we're going to give this a good mix to try and get a nice, thin consistency, because what we're doing here is we're effectively making a paste. Once that's done, let's light up a fire. I've really been enjoying cooking on my Pit Boss Champion Barrel Smoker recently. For the setup today, I've got a couple of trays with a little bit of water in there just to help regulate that temperature. Plus, I know that a lot of the paste is gonna drip through. I've also got my Therm Pro here to help me keep an eye on the temperature across the barrel smoker as well as my chicken. And what I'm gonna do now is simply paint my chook getting in between all the legs, the wings, just getting a maximum flavor into this chook. Once you finish painting your chooks, your coals, they should be pretty hot now. So put them into your basket. You can't see too well here because it is nighttime, but I've also got a bed of charcoal and briquettes sitting in the bottom here. Let this get up to temperature. What I've done is I've opened my top damper and my side damper fully to get this up to temperature quickly. And this chicken is just sitting there, resting, waiting to go. My target temperature for this cook is going to be between 300 and 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Once I reach 250, I just start to close off my dampers. On the side to about halfway and then the top, I close it fully. I'm gonna throw my chicken in and start the cooking process. The smell already from that paste is absolutely beautiful. My temperature has got under control and I'm sitting at about that 270 degrees. I wanna get it up, so I'm gonna open my top damper halfway to get a little bit more airflow in. I'm gonna put my thermometers in now to each of the chicken breasts and just let it cook. My temperature is creeping up, which is great. For the cook, I probably had it in the early 300s for the majority of it, but once my chicken got to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, that's when I had my first look, and it was going really, really well. What I wanted to do now is grab my paste and just paint the birds again. Get more flavor in, more color. This thing is looking outstanding. At 150 degrees Fahrenheit internal, time to have another look. The color is brilliant. So I'm going to paint it one last time. It's cooking beautifully. I opened up my firebox and as you can see, I've got a beautiful fire burning. So as everybody knows, chicken breast needs to get to about 165 degrees Fahrenheit, and then the chicken thigh needs to get to about 175. It's showing 162 in the breast, so let's go and have a look and just see how close we are. This thing smells amazing. There's no smokiness coming through because I haven't put any wood on there, but the smell coming through is all from that beautiful paste. Let's go and have a look. Oh, the smell that hit me when I opened that barrel smoker was outstanding. Anyway, the chicken breast wasn't quite there yet. The legs were, but just let this cook away a little bit longer. 
As much as I do enjoy cooking with this barrel smoker, take a look at this, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and yet my Therm Pro is saying 315. I trust my Therm Pro. Anyway, it's looking like it's 165 degrees Fahrenheit, and it is, so time to let this thing rest and slice it up. Let's get this thing on the chopping board, slice it up and see how she looks. I was super impressed with how juicy this chicken was. Yes, the smell was outstanding, but the texture was absolutely fantastic. All right, so here we have our broken chicken. It's been smoked and cooked on the Pit Boss barrel smoker. It is so juicy. Hopefully you can see the juices popping out of it. It's retained the moisture beautifully. I think there's only one thing left to do, which is a taste test. And my number one fan, which is Alfie, a beautiful dog, he wants to taste test this one today. So come around to the side. And Alfie, let's taste test this one. So Alfie, tell me what you think of the Moroccan chicken cooked on the Pit Boss Barrel Smoker. You ready? I think that's a hit. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you again in the next one. See you later. These chickens only cost me $7.50 each. Super cheap, so easy to cook. The paste is not expensive, but it gives outstanding flavor. Give this a go guys. You don't have to use a barrel smoke if you don't have one. Throw it on the spit, throw it in the oven. It's well worth it. Thanks for watching guys.